And the one, and the two, and the one, two, three, go. <laughs> your Friday new product post. So here we have one of our addressable LED strips. We talked about these in a video a few weeks back and these are nothing new. However, our last shipment of these came in damaged. The coating hadn't fully cured and when we wrapped them up to put them in the bags to ship out, the coating actually cracked. And you can see one of the cracks here. The coating has just basically lifted up off of the strip. Now the problem with this is, well, it looks terrible for one, and it exposes the components underneath. So these are rated for waterproof use. I think it's IP7 possibly. And unfortunately, they can't be used for that anymore. But if you're not going to be using these for waterproof use, they still work. We've actually separated out all the ones that have cracked. We've tested them. They all function just fine, it's just they have these cracks in the coating. So if you're going to use these for something that doesn't need that, you can get a good deal on these while supplies last. Here we have the Musical Instrument Shield. The Musical Instrument Shield uses the VS1053IC. That IC has a lot of different functions, but for this board we're just using the MIDI functionality. The MIDI functionality allows you to play all sorts of different instruments from guitars, pianos, percussion instruments, and it just outputs it through this 3.5mm audio jack, or give you a pair of headers that you can hook up directly to your amplifier or whatever else. This is the board that we used in the introduction to this video, and let's take a closer look at how we did that. So this is the sound squid that you saw in the beginning of the video. What we've done is we've taken a bunch of SparkFun boxes, we've put in arcade buttons, and hooked them up with Ethernet cable. There's just an RJ45 breakout board in each one of these. And in this main box, we've got all the electronics. So if we open this up, we can see that we've got two of the musical instrument shields uh, hooked up to a breadboard and then broken out to each one of our RJ45 breakouts. And underneath each one of these, we've got an Arduino. And this is wired directly up to our output jack, which goes directly into the amplifier. And when people press the buttons, it just makes a different instrument sound for each one. Here we've got the Lilypad e-sewing kit. The Lilypad e-sewing kit is great for people that are just getting started and really aren't ready yet for the programming and the code and the computers to go along with maybe a more advanced Lilypad project. This includes everything you need to get some LEDs sewn into some clothing and turn it on and put power into it. It includes a 30-foot spool of conductive thread. We've got the battery holder. We've got two coin cell batteries. We've got five needles that you can use to sew in the conductive thread. We've got a slide on and off switch. We've got just a push button switch. And then we've got five individual different colored LEDs. We've got a red, a green, a yellow, a white, and a blue. And all these together will be everything you need to sew in some LEDs and get something lit up. And hopefully very soon we're going to be posting a video that shows exactly how to use a kit like this to get started on your very first Lilypad project. So here are my top picks for this week. And as you can see, we have stuck to Fridays and we will keep doing the new product posts on Friday from now on. So check out the rest of the posts. We've got a few more products to talk about and we'll see you next Friday for another new product post.